What's up, everyone? This is Squigs, and we are back with another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. Here we are trying to figure out how to solve another puzzle. My best guess is a something like this. Hoping, of course, that we can jump. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. Hoping, of course, that we can jump to the, the middle block there somehow. Which does not seem possible now that I'm trying to do it. Can we get up there in some way? I don't think so. Okay, so from the bottom block here. What if... Okay, what if we do this, right? We go up here. Get this one. We're knocking out one tower pretty much no matter what. What if we do a jump? A jump and grab. A little trick I picked up in Odd Kaizo World. Well, if I kick from there, okay, I can hit that one all the way over there. So... We'll leave that one untouched and do that same thing. Nice little... Nice little trick. Um, this is one of the first, like, Kaizo-style glitches that I learned. Which is just jumping off of a blue block. Because it was in Odd Kaizo World uh, by Crested Peak 9 who was the first person to send me a Kaizo level hack to try. And it was like one of the first challenges I had to do. So I always remember this, this kind of jump fondly as something I did when I was but a budding YouTuber just starting out. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't even call them the I'm still in the good old days of YouTube. I don't know. I don't know when I'll be out of the good old days, but right now it still feels like the good old days. God damn it. That was bad. Um... But yeah, that one really brings me back, because it was the first Kaizo hack I had to do, and it was very hard. And I used save states, it was the first time I ever used save states on the channel. Um, but it was still incredibly hard. It was so frustrating to do some of the things, because I just wasn't good at that kind of Mario playing yet. And I'm still not. I'm just getting a little better. There we are! Yeah, I like that one though, that was nice. It was just enough of a challenge where I was like, oh, this is easy, you just pick them all up and jump on one, and then... Gave me the extra layer when I figured out that wasn't right. Like, it was a good level, well designed challenge, I think. So. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, if I can fill this entire room, will that be enough? Yeah, if I had an extra... I feel like that would have been enough. So, one, two, three... Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I'm missing... Eleven? Well, let's hope it was twelve and not eleven, and I counted wrong. Because otherwise I need one extra coin, which is not... Not fun. <laughs> Fuck that up, hold on, we're, just, we're not even gonna bother, yeah, it's not gonna work unless it's perfect. So, up, boom. That's so hard to do with that little notch out of it, it's not really that hard. But it's harder. I'm trying to hit the button as little as possible, that's why if you see me do nothing, it's because I'm being stupid and trying to hit the button just a little bit. Ugh, the, having to pre-buffer your inputs on this is so... Like, you have, you want to be going in the direction that you want to turn before it actually gets there. Which is hard for me to think. Like, to not do it exactly what I want it to do. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I missed one spot. Sixty fucking one. Okay, what happens if we go the opposite way? How does it play out? Oh, it's much more even, actually, if I go the opposite way. Interesting. 
Like, you don't get that little notch. Where does it end? All the way up there? There we go. That's what we needed to do. Clear a little space towards the end for it to have a couple more coins. Again, a well-thought-out puzzle that I found very enjoyable. That was good. 63 ticks that thing stays active for. Who the hell knew? It's not a tick. 63 coins worth of time, though. <laughs> Probably 256 ticks? I don't know. I'm not a tick doctor. Alright, let's see. This seems pretty straightforward. Just collect. Wait. Well, actually, it's not straightforward, because then we have to make sure we have enough... We have the ability to get up there. Um, which means I have to get... Oh, fuck. Well, I fucked that up. Wait, how many of these am I gonna have to have left over? Hold on. Yeah, we need to leave over some at the beginning, I think. So, I'm not gonna take that coin right there, which I can jump on top of. Yeah, and then we get this little set. I fucked that up. Because now I can't get on top of that one. Okay, so. We do this. We take everything except for that coin. Then we do this. Take everything except for those coins. Damn it. Okay, I fucked that up. Okay. So, we do this. <laughs> Take everything except for that corner coin there, right? And we wait. Then, take everything except for that corner coin. Means I can... I fucked up again. Okay. So, <laughs> alright. We do this. We take everything... Except for this middle coin, I guess. And we wait. No. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. So. We do this. Take everything except for that corner coin. Right? Leave both of them for example purposes. That sounds good. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> now we get on here. Boop. Collect that. Boop. Collect that. So now, you can get up here. Do something like that. And then, use the rest to it's not going to be enough, I don't think. How close are we, though? 87, 84. So we need to get all three of those, and then... Will we be able to run and jump? Yes. Okay, we could run and jump and grab that. So we figured it out. We just didn't execute it well enough. All right. I forget everything that I just did. <laughs> so hopefully we can remember... I want to say two corner coins, then wait. And for this part... It's every coin except for those two new corner coins. We need to leave that one. And by hitting this... Do something like this. I think that's right. Fuck, I didn't... Okay, wait. I need all of those coins. Which is not possible unless I get an awesome wall jump, <laughs> which I've never done before. So when you see me start going for wall jumps, you know that I'm just fucking desperate. Because I can't do that at all. Um, okay. If we leave three of them... Right? We get everything except for this coin. 
this coin. And that coin. Right? Now, we're doing... Oh, no, we don't do that. Okay. Get everything except for these... Three coins. Perfect. Okay. Now, we get everything except for the two side coins. Right? Okay. Now, using the two side coins, we collect everything except for that middle coin. Including, yeah, the the ones we use to get the side coins lined up. No, come on. But the idea was having a coin in the... Ugh, fucking... Okay, we'll be back in a second, folks. I'm not going to show this again. There we go. Okay. Now, we should be able to grab every coin that's left... Yes, okay, perfect. Awesome puzzle. That was a really good one. Because it made me think about five times over what I was doing right and wrong. And there we go. All right, folks. I am really fucking digging this hack. I don't know if I've said that enough yet, but seriously, I keep getting blown away. There's a lot of different ways to use mechanics in this game. Like, there's only so many of them when you think about it, but here we have like a hundred fucking levels. Each one using new mechanics from the last. This doesn't seem that hard. Yeah, that was probably the easiest one we've had in a while. I don't know if it was supposed to be tricky because you fall into the lava after if you don't get that last jump right or something. I don't know what was supposed to make that tricky, but it seemed pretty easy to be. Oh my god, what is this? Are we, like, at the end of the game? It seems like it's Bowser's castle. This is fucking awesome, for the record. Okay, we're gonna go into... They redid the numbers to look better, too, which is interesting. We'll go into door number one first. All right. If I just... Yeah, I need that guy to bounce off of. So, that's actually not that bad. We just wait for him to come all the way past here. Leave this right here. As soon as he's on that dry land, we do this. Nope. Okay, I fucked that up, but it's really not that bad. We just need to bounce off his head before that resolves, basically. Yeah, if we bring him even further out... Should be less of a struggle on my part to get over to him in time. Oh, God, okay. Okay, I see what I need to do now. So, we're going to bounce off him once just to grab shit. Leave this right here. Come all the way over here. I'll hop over you. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, now we just wait again to jump off him once more. There we go. All right. So now we're at the five, six, seven, eight level. Hmm. Well, we're going to go with five again and see if it's tricky. I legit have no idea how to do this. So I'm assuming I need to feed the Yoshi with... Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Well, I just failed the whole fucking thing. Okay, I'm back at five. That's nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all that needs to be done. Is we just take Yoshi here, put him in the corner. We stop. And then it goes and feeds him. Bada bing. Bada boom. Good puzzle. Drop this. I really want to duplicate this P-switch for no reason. Duplicated it. Yoshi's got a P-switch in his mouth. Remember that. <laughs> All right. So we beat the five to eight portion. Zip through this. Doesn't seem to... 
Oh, fuck. I don't know. I do not understand this one. Unless there's somewhere hidden in here. There is a mushroom. There we go. I understand it better. That's a really laggy room. That fucking disco ball uses a lot. What the hell is going on here? Oh, the final boss. The fuck is this? Okay. You gonna come back up? Nope. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. So. We need to quickly get up here. Grab all these. Um, yeah. So same deal. Let's go back down. Run, jump, grab. Um, okay. Now by lifting it back up, you do this. I think that's what I need to do. Having that on its way down. There we go. Cool fucking boss room. I really like this way, the way they did this one too. All in all, I have nothing negative to say about this hack. Like, in any way. It's just, there's, not, there's no fucking complaints to be had. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the end! Fucking Peach's Castle! So, Mario 64. Oh my god! Okay, we've done it! Designer, Eric Brox. Programming. Wait, did I fucking get the hack creator wrong? I thought that the hack creator was... I might have said the hack creator's name wrong a few times in this, and I'm sorry. It's Eric Brox. Um, I... I can't remember because I got ill and forgot. Maybe I fucked up after that. I'm really, I really apologize if I said the wrong name anywhere. I probably edited it out. But, uh, if I didn't, then I'm an asshole. Anyways, <laughs> um... Yeah, so that was one of the best hacks I've ever played, hands down. I fucking loved every minute of that. I love the idea behind it. I love the execution of it. Um... The single room challenges a big thing in Super Mario Maker, but you, I've never seen something like this in Super Mario World. And it's a little harder, I think, in Super Mario World to pull off something like that. Normally, Super Mario World hacking gives you more options, but single room challenges, I feel like Mario Maker has better options, almost. So the fact that you were able to pull it off in this environment, very impressive. The fact that you had someone that plays Super Mario World, like, every single day, thinking on their feet, trying to figure out how to do these puzzles, and, like, you legit confused me plenty of times. Um, that's, I'm, I'm impressed by that, too, because, like, creating puzzles for this game is not easy. It's easier towards someone that's more of a novice, but once you see enough of the puzzles, you can kind of look at them and be like, oh, I got a P-Switch, I got a Yoshi, this is the max, this is everything I can do with these two objects, like, which one is it? You know what I mean? But there were some really cool mechanics in here that you don't see very often. Yeah! So I, I really, I mean, I have nothing to say, but thank you for making this. Thanks for setting it in. I had a fucking blast playing it. Hey, it's Mandu. Hey, buddy Mandu at the end there. Yeah, you show up all the, over the place. Um, yeah, thanks for making it. Thanks for setting it in. I had a blast fucking playing this one. This is one of the more fun ones in a while. Oh, the end. I had to let a little bit of the music play out. Oh my god, I love that. So, was that the Yoshi's Island music too? Or was that the... That's not the regular... 
No, I think that was the regular Super Mario World music. I don't know. I've been sick, folks. That's my excuse. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this journey with me through this another wonderful hack. This one's definitely a memorable one that I'm going to remember for a long time. Hopefully it was the same experience for all of you out there. As always, if you have a hack you'd like to see played on the channel, please let me know. Uh, you can just hit me up down in the comments or send it to sendmeyourhacks at gmail.com. Um, I'll play pretty much everything you send to me. It could be Super Mario World hack, which most of them are. It could be a hack for a different game. It could be custom levels for fucking Geometry Dash. I don't care. If you've made a game, like, I don't talk about this much, but if you've made any sort of custom level for a game and you want to see it played and it doesn't fit into the ROM hack ROM, send it to me. I'm going to play it. The channel is more about playing user submitted comments, content, than specifically ROM hacks. So I'm open to all kinds of whatever you got. Just send it my way. I'll be happy to play it. I love to play amateur game design. And um, it's my, my favorite my favorite way to play games is, is games made by indie and amateur designers now. Like, I just like this kind of gameplay. So whatever you got, send it my way. I'll be happy to have it. And even if it's just something you want to see played, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I, I do those too. You don't even have to have made it. If you just like to see like a particularly cool hack played, just let me know. But yeah, I'll stop rambling in the silence with no music, which always feels fucking weird to me. So once again, thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon out there, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you all in the next one. I Take it easy. See, I want to say have a wonderful afternoon after that, but I already said that part. So like, I'll figure out how to do outros eventually. Uh, bye. <laughs>